Here we are two weeks into the new school year and many school districts are still facing a bus driver shortage. News Channel 9's Ashley Kofaro shows us how it's impacting the kids. It's been four years since Jessica Beardsley decided to get behind the wheel of a 35 foot long school bus. I absolutely love my job. I never in a million years would I ever thought that I would have been a bus driver. However, it hasn't always been an easy ride. These last two years of recruitment with the pandemic has been very stressful and we haven't been getting the normal um, amount of applications and candidates that we had in the past. The shortage stems from the pandemic and retirements. And due to extensive training, finding replacement has not been easy. You have to have a commercial driver's license. You have to have a Class B with a passenger endorsement and an S endorsement, which is a school bus driver endorsement. So it's probably about a four to six week training program. Just this past weekend, New York Governor Kathy Hochul announced a multi agency plan to help address the school bus driver shortage. Part of that plan and in commercial driver license testing opportunities, something Conti says could help with their district. Steps to remove barriers and recruit traditional and non-traditional CDL holders is also part of the plan. And although Conti and other districts statewide are feeling the pressure, he says he is not giving up. Continue to recruit. Where we only recruit at certain times of the year, this is an ongoing process for North Syracuse. And we're prepared to do that and we're going to move forward for it, being very diligent in acquiring all the people that we need to be successful. The help wanted sign remains up in North Syracuse. The district wants to hire at least five school bus drivers and as many as five school bus attendants. In North Syracuse, Ashley Cafaro, News Channel 9.